rub a balloon against a fur hat and bring it close to a shredded paper. Its small pieces go up into the air and stick to the balloon. This means the shredded paper is affected by the forces which are called electrical. We bring the same balloon close to a metallic collet. It is first attracted to it and then is repelled from it so strongly that it can soar above the balloon fastened to it with a leash. We can see that electrical forces can cause both mutual attraction and repulsion of objects. It was known as early as in ancient Greece that a piece of amber rubbed against skin or fur attracts small objects. The Greek for amber is electron. And this is where the word electricity originates. In this experiment, we are going to charge the collets from a higher voltage power source instead of a balloon. We charge both collets from the black cable and see that they repel one another. Now we charge them from the red cable and they repel each other just the same. And now let us move the two collets apart and charge one of them from the black and the other from the red cable. When brought close together, they are attracted to each other. This experiment clearly demonstrates that there are two different types of electrical charges. Charges of the same type repel each other, while charges of different types attract each other. A famous American public figure and scientist, Benjamin Franklin, suggested calling the two types of charges positive and negative. It's the matter of agreement which charge is to be considered positive and which negative. It is important that one can treat charges as positive and negative numbers. If a body is charged with plus 5 units and then minus 2 units, it will eventually have plus 3 units of charge. We charge one of these metal balls from a high voltage power source and leave the other one uncharged. The foil lobes under the charged ball repel each other. We connect the balls with a plexiglass ruler. Nothing happens because plexiglass is an insulator and does not conduct electricity. Now we connect the balls with a metal rod. The lobes get closer under the first ball and move apart under the second one. Thus, the angle between both pairs of lobes becomes the same. This happens because half the charge moved from the first to the second ball, since metals are good conductors. A motionless atomic lattice of a metal is positively charged. Negatively charged electrons are the moving carriers of an electric charge. The excess of electrons makes a body negatively charged, while lack of them makes it positively charged. Let's carry out one more wonderful experiment. We bring a balloon charged by rubbing close to a balanced wooden plank. The plank is attracted to the balloon, although it has not been charged before. Why does this happen? We're going to talk about it in our next video.